Hey, hey, Saving My Coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha, and in today's video, we are going to recap my first paycheck for the month of January. So, if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffings, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you don't miss time when I post. If this is your first time seeing my video. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie, but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. So you guys, we are going to recap my first paycheck for the month of January, and I'm just gonna let y'all know, new coins ain't coining, okay? It, yeah, the, the coins ain't coining, but it's okay. We are going to, we're just gonna keep it, keep it pushing, all right? We're gonna do what we need to do. But let me know, how are you? How are the kids? How is the fam? Let me know in the comment section down below, but let's get right on into this budget, okay? All right, so I am in my Save My Coin Budgets Financial Planner. Um, so for the month we did budget out, or I'm sorry, not for the month, for this paycheck, we budgeted out $1,110. Um, what I brought home was $1,113.37. Um, so from here, the debt that I did want to pay, I have uh, Capital One, Discover, and Home Depot. Um, so the budget amount for Capital One was 45. I ended up only putting $20 towards it. Um, for Discover, I wanted to put 45 as well, and I only put $22 towards it. For Home Depot, I wanted to put $38 towards it, and I didn't put anything towards it, guys. Um, I, yeah, I didn't put anything towards it. I had to make a decision to figure out what exactly was most important, and a payment wasn't due on this card, um, yet. I was kind of trying to get ahead of the card, um, but, yeah, I didn't put anything towards it, um, for here, for savings, um, I didn't have anything left to put towards sinking funds, so I did budget to put $250, but I didn't put anything, and that is okay. It's all right that I didn't put anything towards sinking funds. Sinking funds are not always going to be in someone's budget, or you may not always have the right amount of money to put into a sinking fund, um, and I'm okay with that. I am fine with not starting 2022. 2023 off with sinking funds i want all my bills to be paid i want a peace of mind of knowing that i don't have to worry about you know my heat not working in the middle of winter or um my lights not turning on just to stuff a, a sinking fund it, it doesn't make sense to me so um yeah that i didn't put anything towards sinking funds so moving on to my bills so for my bills uh for my tithes I did tithe. I did have a couple people um, tell me, well, why why tithe if you, you know, you can use that money towards something else. That is a personal preference for me to still continue to tithe. Um, and that is what I will continue to do um, is tithe and, you know, continue to give my 10% to God until, you know, yeah, I, I, that's just what I decided to do. Um, so my 10% was, uh, I budgeted 1,000, I was 1,000, y'all, I, I have been saying 1,000 for ties for like the last year and I don't know if my ties are going to be $1,000 this year, okay? If they are, praise Jesus, like that, that'll be a really good month, okay? That will be a wonderful month in my business and <laughs> in my my 40 hour a week job, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna keep speaking it into existence, okay? So $1,000, one day. But for this paycheck, it was $113.37. My Nycor gas, uh, y'all. I budgeted 1,000, I budgeted $130. It was $152.38. I'm like, what in the world is going on with, with the gas? Hmm? Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Nightcore. You taking up a little bit of coins that I got, okay? Uh, for ComEd, and guys, I do have the window open because it is a very beautiful day here in Illinois. Guys, today just uh, is my reset day. It is Saturday. I'm doing laundry. I am, you know, doing the sheets and the pillows. I am, you know, cleaning up the house. I have some exciting news to tell you guys next week in my video. So, you know, I'm just trying to prepare myself for this next coming week. Um, and my daughter with just her school uniforms and all the things that, you know, she needs. So 
today is just like preparation day for me it's going to be you know pretty chill low-key just you know getting in the rhythm of just getting myself in a in a better mindset Re like i said resetting the house cleaned lighting candles you know vacuuming just getting the house together i like to do it on the weekend so i don't have to really do it throughout the week um so it's more of like picking up the house throughout the week but guys let me know what about you when do you like to do your like reset cleaning do you like to do it um a room one room throughout the week or do you like to do it uh on the weekends like friday so you have saturday and sunday to chill like let me know what what when do you like to do it um but com ed com ed was i budgeted 120 dollars and it was 80 dollars and three cents state farm which is all of my insurance um that one is usually a fixed amount so it's about the same every month so it is 129 next is peacock and peacock was five dollars for at&t it was 131.32 because there was a five percent fee y'all i'm i'm getting sick and tired of at&t amazon was 9.99 my mortgage i did put 450 dollars towards my mortgage going toward the month of february um and then for my cash envelopes i did not put anything into my cash envelopes if i need anything i will just utilize my credit card and i will pay it back um over time and I'm okay with that decision I am not the type of person that really I want to say get into credit card debt um, if I use my card then I use it and then I'll just pay it back but I don't have mountains and mountains and mountains of you know credit cards that I'm you know racking it up you know so if I spend you know $250 on things for the next two weeks th for my personal spending then i'm okay with that you know i could pay you know half and half for a couple paychecks or spread it out over you know a couple of paychecks i am fine with that i know some people don't like using credit cards at all and again that is a personal preference but for me to be able to live and all my needs be met have gas in my car uh be able to get some extra extra groceries you know if i decide to go go through mcdonald's drive through i'm not going to penalize myself because i don't physically have the cash i'm just going to utilize my credit card and and go from there I, again that is a personal decision for me so just to recap uh, my income that i brought in was one thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars and thirty seven cents what we had budgeted um was one thousand six hundred eleven dollars and ninety nine cents we didn't put anything towards savings and the total amount of our expenses since i am a zero based budget every dollar has a name and it does have a place um it is one thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars and thirty seven cents um so my notes for myself was called at&t and over budget um so i did call at&t and they were no help <laughs> um and then we uh there was no sinking funds and cash envelopes for this paycheck which is perfectly fine um yeah i'm i'm fine with that so guys let me know how was your first paycheck for the month of january um if you are paid bi-weekly if you are paid weekly then you should have this this should have been what your second or third paycheck let me know how is your budget um is everything panning out the way that you thought it was going to be because this is not how i thought it was going to be okay but it's okay we're adjusting it's a different mindset it's different behavior we are going to grow throughout this year and we are going to just take it as life gives it to us okay so let me know how was your budget going but don't forget to let me know how is the fam and how are you doing and when is your reset day i'll talk to you guys in my next video be blessed bye